Spirit of Truth. I know you, Spirit of Truth. I love you, Spirit of Jesus. Spirit of God. Spirit of Truth. Inside me, Spirit. Good morning, Holy Spirit. For such a beautiful day. Lord God, thank you for your grace that strengthens us to live and trust in Jesus Christ. Rooted and built up in Him. I praise you for strengthening our faith through the teaching of your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friends, our world is filled with voices claiming to speak for God. And supernatural manifestations can have divine or satanic origin. For this reason, Apostle John, in 1 John chapter 4, verses 1 to 6, counsels us that we shouldn't believe everything we hear just because someone says it is a message inspired by God. Beloved, one of the many ways to test teachers of the word to see if their message is truly from the Lord is to check to see if their words match what God says in the Bible. Their commitment to the body of believers, 1 John 2 9, their lifestyles. 1 John 3, 23-24 and the fruit of their ministries. 1 John chapter 4, verse 6. But the most important test of all, says John, 
is what they believe without Christ. They believe about Christ. Do they teach that Jesus is fully God and fully man? Every true prophet and preacher will teach that Jesus Christ is fully God and fully man. Anything less is the spirit of the Antichrist. Those who reject Christ are unknowingly or consciously siding with the spirit of the Antichrist. It is not surprising to see and note that another dimension of the spirit of the Antichrist The spirit of error is causing people to practice two religions at the same time. Such persons might be in the church, yet practice their traditional religion or still go to consult a refined witch doctor as well as hide in secret societies with the slogan, Heaven help those who help themselves. All these are the work of the spirit of error in the life of such people. I therefore decree every work of the spirit of error in your life is cancelled in the name of Jesus. May the spirit of truth liberate you from the spirit of error for the truth is making you free now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Error is both of the mind and of the spirit. This spirit leads people to make erroneous or wrong judgment and decisions which eventually leads to failure and calamity in life. Beloved, many have lost their jobs, lives, relationships, integrity, and even position because of the spirit of error. That is why John the Apostle presents a difference between those who belong to the world and those who belong to God in verses 5 to 6 of 3 John chapter 4. Those of the world listen to the viewpoint of the world because of the spirit of falsehood in them. But those whoever knows God listen to us. We the heralds of the word because of the spirit of truth. Friends, don't be frightened by the wickedness we see around us and overwhelmed by the problems we face. Because you are more than conqueror and overcomer, since the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world, as John the Apostle encourages us with. Be reminded that God is even stronger. He will conquer all evil for his spirit. And his word live in our hearts. False prophets and false preachers tend to seek popularity by telling people things that will please them. But a faithful Christian preacher will emphasize holy living, present God's word against sin and evil lifestyle and demand transformational living with the help of the Holy Spirit. They are not likely to be popular with the world, reject lives of false teachers, and hold on to the truth of God's word. Beloved, may God grant you spirit of discernment so that it forms a crucial part of your Christian life to test the spirits to see whether they are of God and give you courage strength, inspiration, and peace. For Jesus said, by their fruits, 
you shall know them. Yes, God's, God loves all, but test of spirits. Shalom. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Spirit of truth Inside me, Spirit of truth You guide me, Spirit of Jesus Spirit of God